Murphy, tell me about this boat. Uh, so this is a, we ordered about two years ago. We finally got it in, so I guess it'd be a 23 Munson. Uh, it's a pet cat, so we have a catamaran hole. So like our usual boats that you'll see has a V-hole. We essentially have two of them right next to each other, and then we have what's called a uh, wave break in the middle of it. It's a little bit smoother ride, especially in rougher water. What about the length on this boat? Uh, this the length of this boat is a it's a 30 foot, but with the uh, back drive with the motors and everything, it's about 37 feet overall. Now the ramp on the front, and a drop down uh, makes it a little easier compared to the other boat as far as divers and such. Yes, sir. So we can we can now drop the bow door completely down, and we can actually go below the water level, and then we can actually have a seat on it, so we can have a diver sit on the front. So it's a lot easier to, uh, for them, for the contingency diver, which is the backup diver to our primary, to get out there and be able to, you know, assist with any of the dives we have. What about maneuverability? Uh, it's, so far, what we've noticed, especially with the motors being spread apart on the catamaran hole, it's a, it's a little more, uh, I guess what you would say, I mean, whenever we're steering and stuff like that, the uh, movement's a little bit easier compared to having them closer together where it felt like the, it kind of like pivoted on the, the, the rear of the vessel. And pump, kind of run the pump down, pump and... So this boat, we went with a 550. It's also, it's uh, similar to what we have on our, the booster trucks that we have here. So it's a little bit easier for maintenance or uh, stuff like that. So they can pull it out, replace it, replace parts on it a lot easier than kind of the bigger motor or the pumps are. Uh, 550, so we'll be able to supply, you know, most of our residential fires and stuff like that uh, with enough water as well as we can put out any marine fires that we come across. What about uh, no speed? So top speed so far that we've gotten it up to is about 52, and that's with everything dialed in and you know motors pitched up and stuff like that. So, but we're getting about 45 to 47 miles an hour on average. Okay. So kind of glad to have, have have a new boat on the fleet now. Oh yeah, definitely. So uh, this addresses all the stuff that you know with the growing department, the dive team, and stuff like that addresses some of the issues we have with being able to put equipment in the certain compartments and stuff like that, and it's laid out and it has a lot more room on board to you know, for patients and us to, you know, do things on board if we need, you know, working space. Okay. All right. Jay, tell me a little bit about uh, what it takes to acquire this boat and reasons you needed it. I mean, 94 is getting up in age. Correct. Uh, the boat that this replaced was uh, 20 years old. We uh, we went to our ESD commissioners and uh, just with with the need, uh, they, they understood the need and we uh, went out at our boat committee uh, did some research on different boats. They uh, come down to Munson being the brand that they uh, chose and uh, then the uh, specification process started and uh, the fine tuning of that I should say and then uh, about two years, a little over two years later uh, we, we now received the boat. COVID's played a big part in this thing getting, in getting this boat, hasn't it? I'm sorry? COVID has played a big part in this? It did. Um, no, there was a lot of delays. I'm talking, we had to uh, change even on our previous boat that this one's replacing, uh, that we ran certain brand motors and after certain hours on those motors had to be replaced and we could not get the brand that we had always had so we had to go to a, a different brand motor. And uh, same thing on this, we had to change some, in our during the process change because of COVID, calling the now way in shipping. Besides Cospels, how many other departments got boats on the water right now? So now uh, Conroe Fire Department now has a boat on the water, uh, Montgomery Fire Department, uh, the Constable's Department, and then Montgomery County ESD. Quite a few responses every year. Yes, sir. Quite a few. I'm tired. And it's, you would think it's just during the nice part of the, but uh, it's pretty much guaranteed any time a storm comes through, uh, we're going to be, that's when we're going to be out on the water rescuing somebody because Lake Conroe is, uh, it gets from very calm to very rough very quickly. Kind of a quiet year this year. I mean, it went from most dangerous lake to not a single drowning this yes, year. Yes, in comparison to years past, I'm tired. Yes, it was a quiet year, but I'm tired. The year is not over with. I'm like, we can we can pray that it's going to be a quiet remainder of the year. Uh, but yes, we've had some during the winter. We've had some of our worst calls. Lake has the lake levels caused any issues? Uh, right now, Lake Conroe is about two foot low. It hasn't uh, caused any any issues as of right now. I'm like, we're uh, with now it's getting starting to get some rain. I'm like, we we feel that lake level should be coming back to full pool before long. Okay. All right, that's good. It doesn't seem that far. Jeez.
Bravo 4 and Rescue 1. There, there it goes.